Bitcoin has just entered price discovery territory. That's right, folks. We've never been here before. Bitcoin just broke to a new all-time high. Some people even suggesting that it actually hit 90K USD, although... Although, according to my records, I saw a number more like 89,900 and change. But anyways, the point is, the bull market is here. And all of these rosy-lensed predictions and the stars are aligning. Right? Welcome back, everyone. That's right. We're going to do a Hopium episode the bull market is in full swing. We broke out of the previous all-time highs range into the wonderful place of price discovery. And why is that so wonderful? Because these, this is uncharted territory. We've never been here before. We don't know what it's going to do. And guys, of course, this type of environment always brings out the rosiest of expectations. And I am here to start taking a look at some of these expectations. Let's dive into it. So the first thing that we ended up hearing was this news right here. Shout out the humble warrior for bringing this to uh, to my attention. So let's dive into it. This is an account crypto reviewing uh, U.S. government to buy one million Bitcoin over the next five years. OK, that's eighty four billion dollars worth at current prices. Bitcoin to become the new strategic reserve asset of the United States if the bill is passed. The U.S. is going to start accumulating Bitcoin as a reserve asset. Okay, is that, is that not enough for you? Could, could it get better? Hold on. Bitcoin is now the eighth largest asset in the world. It just happened within the last 48 hours. Okay, and Bitcoin overtook silver's market cap. So there you go. Now, all of a sudden, Bitcoin is bigger than silver. Not enough good news for you? Need some more hopium? Well, Samson Mao drops this tweet. I'm just going to say it. This time, it's different. He also alluded to the possibility that Bitcoin hits a million dollars this cycle. Now, we're not surprised by the Bitcoin hopium dealers, right? The, the people like Samson Mao and, and the, the, the cheerleaders, right? Like Cynthia Lummis, right? Who just keep talking about Bitcoin's strategic reserve. But what if a TradFi technical analysis guru all of a sudden gets really bullish on Bitcoin? Does that do it for you? Does that make it so that the stars align? Is that enough good news? Well, Here's a tweet from Peter Brandt. This is called a complex continuation inverted head and shoulders pattern. Bless you. I know that's a mouthful. Lots of chartists deny its existence, not me. Also, not Schaubecker, Edward, and McGee. Check for yourself. Note the similarities to gold in 2009, 2010. So what is Peter what what is Peter Brandt talking about? So he's talking about this pattern here that was discovered in 1936, and he is essentially claiming that Bitcoin is following this similar pattern. If we take a look at the actual Bitcoin chart and see what Peter did, again, I don't want to say that this is what's going to happen, but according to his charting, we are looking at well over 200K USD per Bitcoin by the top of this cycle, right? And Essentially, when do we expect that cycle top to occur? Uh, it's not set in stone, right? And these are moving numbers. So anybody who's telling you the exact date and time is obviously just wrong. Um, but I think we can expect a reasonable range of December 2025 to like February 2026. And again, that's just my guess based on the previous cycles patterns, it doesn't mean it's going to play out. As Samson alluded to, this time it's different. Maybe, maybe the bull run goes out for a lot longer. Maybe it lasts, maybe instead of just lasting uh, about a year and a half, maybe this bull run lasts three years. Who knows? Who knows? But one thing is for sure, 
The stars have aligned. The hopium dealers are giving us the highest quality hopium that we could ever ask for. Everything is going to the moon. All of this sounds wonderful. Of course, I'm also happy, right? But at the same time, okay, this is one of those this is one of those times where people get psychologically wrecked, okay? Do even though this is all nice stuff to hear, don't place importance on it, okay? Don't draw a line in the sand and decide that if that line isn't crossed, that it's quote unquote over, okay? And the reason why I'm reminding people of this is because there were some really big accounts, okay, that when we came back and hit the previous all-time high and then surpassed it and we went to the 73K region after the Bitcoin ETFs were announced and started rolling, there were some big accounts that have been around for a very long time that were calling the top. And they were posting screenshots of, you know, shitcoin stuff that were saying, this is usually, you know, isn't this a top, isn't this a top signal? And had you had listened to those people, you would have sold your Bitcoin and you would have just missed out on this historical move. Okay. So the whole reason I'm explaining this is the hopium dealers will always paint a rosy picture. The key, okay, the key is to not place your confidence in them. They don't really know, okay? Neither do I. I don't really know either. I'm looking at this information just like you are, and it makes me feel good also, and I'm just letting you know what I did not to get wrecked. And what I did not to get wrecked was I didn't place too much importance into what they were saying, and I didn't place my hopes and dreams on their made-up timelines. Bitcoin's going to do whatever it's going to do. And what we're seeing is that it's eating the world's value. How long that takes, we don't know. How high the price will go in the short term as the majority of the world continues to not actually understand Bitcoin, we, we don't know. But one thing we do know, it's a finite, it's a finite asset. The government doesn't control that allows us to store our time and value. Now you need to decide how important is that for you and what is that worth to you? I know what it's worth to me. Anyways, I'm super happy that it is finally bull run time again, guys. In, enjoy it. Enjoy it. We're going to look like geniuses for about a year, right? And we're just patting themselves on the back, family, just coping and seething and some cases jealous that, you know, you were, you had enough conviction um, to do to make your move and start purchasing Bitcoin and securing it. Um, hey, look, this is all part of it. Enjoy it because when the bear market hits, this is going to seem like a long off memory. That's all I wanted to talk about, guys. I'll catch you tomorrow.